This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan. Be honest. In myself. Kevin Davis. Welcome to Music Love Life. Hello, friends. <laughs> Why you sound like, um, what's the lights can do with the light eyes, the actor? Terrence Howard. Terrence Howard. Why you sound like Terrence Howard? That was Terrence Howard? It sounded like Terrence Howard. And in, uh, in, what was it? Um... Oh my gosh! You know Maine. what I'm talking yeah, about, though. That, yes, yes. Oh, the, the they won three that six mafia. Like Terrence won. Howard yeah, uh, Hells and Flow. Hells and Flow. Wow. No, Maine. That was a different Maine. Type. It definitely was. That's that's Terrence Howard from Hustle and Flow. Hey, hey, look here, Maine. Yeah, that's that Memphis shit. Is what that is. Well, hello, now, people. That one was. I don't know what it is. Like I, I got a after Kaepernick signed with Ford. Kaepernick. Oh, well. I, are you I, representing the white uh, um, conservatives tonight? No, I'm just black and a Ford. And all of a sudden, my country, I don't know, something about a Ford truck that makes you I don't know what just you're a talking little about. country just for. Hello, like, guys. Like I'm so sorry. Um, we're hey, not can sure. you shut your dog up? First of all, I'm going to try to stop saying first of all, but. Guys, I want you it. to meet Dolce. Dolce is my new puppy, and he is so small that I could not leave him home. He'd been home in the cage a long time, so I had to bring him. So it's not he's even enjoying. a real dog. And she named him Dolce. Why are you, first of all, <laughs> he is a dog, okay? It's not a real dog. It doesn't go woof. Does, he, he's, he's a puppy. Is he dogs say woof. Is he it, trans? The dog will never go woof. He is a male. He is a toy puppy. You're pool. talking about cutting his Dick and balls off. I said off. we're neutering him for pecking. For what? Because I don't want him trying to hump other He's dogs. He's not big enough to hump anything. That's even more reason for him to be cut. He's what? Cr- he over there crying like a little well, bitch. You know what? You're rude. You're no. rude. You You're need rude. to leave that, do- that dog's balls alone. It's a domestic. It's not a dog. Quit calling it a dog. Stop. That's disrespectful you go- to actual dogs. You going to give him a front hole? You that's, know what? That's, that's the new that's, term. That's the new term. Have you heard that? I did hear. I did hear that. That you know what? I'm front off. Hole. I'm front off hole. this train. No, okay? no, no, no. The I'm LGBTQQ. What the fuck is a front hole? A front hole is the inclusive term that they're gonna use for vagina, and because transgendered inclusive? men who become women don't actually have a vagina, they have something more inclusive would be a front hole. So women have front holes. Oh, my God. And transgender men who are now women have front holes. When is this going to stop? And you're cutting your dog's hole. You're going to make a hole in your dog, so he's going to have a front hole, too. He's not. No, he's just going to be not neutered. a dog. First of all, it's a domesticated possum. <laughs> Possums are big, okay? Have yeah, you seen a possum? Yeah, possums are huge. Have you seen a possum? They're big mm-hmm. and ugly, okay? Mm-hmm. He's not small. I mean, he's not big, and he's certainly not ugly. Can you shut him up, though? I'm trying to. He said you guys are scaring him. Okay. You guys we are were scary. outside. He his his name is Dolce. It don't take much to scare Dolce him. Dolce means sweet. Okay. Exactly. Who names a boy dog sweet? I mean, he's cute. <laughs> and I mean, what would what would I name him? He's a toy poodle. So okay. So for, your first problem is now you got a dog that's that's gonna have all types of issues because no they they what what you say he was? He's GMO. GMO. He's a he's GMO not, dog. What are you talking about? That dog was made in the lab. He came he wouldn't from a very in reputable wild. breeder. No. Very reputable breeder. He's a toy poodle. He's not going to get but maybe one more pound. He's adorable. If you left him outside because you came in the house to get a soul, they'd be dead by the time you got back. Well, there is an issue in Georgia with hawks, so I cannot let him go out without mm. super, a super... A just super, Georgia? Well, I'm just saying there's a... There, the vet told, When I took him to the vet, the vet said be very careful because hawks are known to swoop down and snatch up, you know... Things that are less than two pounds. Does that dog get a spider bite? He's done. Yeah, so no, like, he's not. You know, guys, don't worry. Run, he run up on a, fine. He run up on an ant mound and get right. lost. Yo, <laughs> you'll see. You'll see him laying Mommy, next to it. Mommy, I can't find my way out. You guys, be honest. Is laughing, but before we went, we went live. He was loving and cuddling uh, with Dolce, just like I am. I thought so. it was a girl dog then. What I didn't know it was difference? a little. I didn't know it was a little <laughs> sweet little boy. I mean, it's a baby. First, it's a puppy. It's a boy. <laughs> sweet little boy. It's a boy. He's <laughs> so sweet. 
I saw a shirt today that said Black Boy Joy, and I thought about getting one for both no, of you didn't. guys. No, you didn't. You didn't see I did. that shirt. I would never I did. wear that. No one, has the, no one uses that phrase but women. There was a guy that had the shirt on, and then there was another how did one that Black Boy Smile. No, no. How did he look? He, he him looked was like he had means. joy. Stop it. Him down, stab. <laughs> you know what? You're offensive, okay? You're that offensive. That is not offensive. You it's are fucking offensive. hilarious. You're offensive. Oh, uh, 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 oh, so you like Wanda now. You you oh, throwing no. jokes, but you can't take them? No, no, I'm definitely you, not you that. Can't, you sensitive. What happened with that? Did, did you see a joke? I didn't see her throw a joke, really. She, she tried. did. She did. She what did. was okay. her joke? She oh, tried petty We got We got to explain what we're talking about. In case, in case you have not been online, uh, V103, the the the... I guess the number one Frank radio station in Atlanta has a morning show, Frank and Wanda. Cat Williams goes on, and all hell breaks loose on. He wasn't even supposed. Daytime. He wasn't even the person he there. He wasn't even supposed was the to be red interviewed. Dude. Exactly, it was supposed to be Red Grant. Red Grant, right? So I can understand if Cat <laughs> didn't want to go on because it ain't about me. It's for my dude, right? right? So let He's, him do his thing. No, we want you. We want you. All right. So now y'all ain't even talking to Red Grant. Yeah, no but more. I feel like I know that you know when when someone like Cat Williams goes to the radio station, you know that they're going to ask you to come on. I, I believe. That that he did know You go with Red Grant They're gonna ask you To come on the radio His boy Yeah Red Grant And especially Brian, because cool, Cat, on, Cat Williams has tripping. been Cat Williams has been saying All types of controversial things About uh, Tiffany Haddish I think he knew They were gonna ask him To come on the radio But it, it, Regardless of that He started talking to Wanda They were going back and forth In my opinion He wasn't really coming from her For her in the beginning he was talking about Tiffany Haddish. I don't know if she was sympathetic to Tiffany Haddish. That's what happened. She was just sticking up for she women. Was, yeah. Not even Tiffany. I think she was I think she saw it was about to turn left. Right. And she was like, well, she's she's okay. She's, you know, right. and, and she But he but he actually was trying there was a point when he said to Wanda, he was saying that he didn't feel like um Tiffany Haddish was as as talented as her success would suggest. He's not. And he said that if you were in Girls Trip, you would have had the same. You know, any woman that is in the cast with those type of heavy hitters is going to be successful. So raise your, hand, raise your hand if you disagree. Right. So no, listeners who aren't watching this, nobody raised their hand. No one raised their hand. <laughs> has, it, has it been fed? <laughs> it has. I think he's in shock. I'm sorry, guys. He's in shock. I should have brought his, his little travel bed. Trap? Are you one of those? You be like dog sweaters and all that. Of course, he's gonna need a sweater uh, because it's it's very uh, cold in the winter time, and his fur <laughs> so, is very thin. You don't think he, God made? Well, God didn't make him, so I guess it <laughs> no. God doesn't even matter. Him. He had two poodle parents, so he he was made. Yeah, but they God. weren't even Test real. Two puppy, right? Anyway, so I don't think that he <laughs> initially came for Wanda, but I think that she, in trying to defend, right. I don't think, and I think it was in poor taste for him to say as much about Tiffany Haddish as he did. Why? I believe. Because I just, I think it's in poor taste. I think she's, regardless if you think that she is successful or not, or she's, you know, talented or not, that's not really his place to say. Why? Whose place is it to say? Nobody, really. What kind of shit is that? What's wrong with this generation of no people? One, you know how many people critique entertainers? Yes, I do, but I'm just Everybody saying for him Monday as a morning, comedian armchair to continuously that. go around, you know, with this smear campaign Use on Tiffany Haddish, I just think that it's in poor taste. Now, well, I do. In poor taste because his opinion, like who else's opinion matters if it's not a comedian? If a comedian can't even critique another comedian, right. damn, it's but not, I mean, not an expert opinion. But why is it continuous though? I mean, she's- He she's, really believes hell, it. Hell, Charles Barkley ain't won a championship, yet this nigga <laughs> is critiquing everybody's and game And I was every over year. Charles Barkley. I was, and that's why I support Shaquille O'Neal. Shut the fuck up, Chuck. See, that's, what I'm, that's my point. <laughs> Somebody needs to tell him to shut up. But I don't disagree with him. I mean, uh, I'm not saying I disagree with him either. Okay, let's talk about Tiffany Haddish because that was the point that she, he said that she hadn't done stand-up and he was naming a million other comedians that had done stand-up and that he felt like deserved a shot before her, right? I guess he didn't feel like she paid, the, paid her dues. He asked people, did anyone know a Tiffany Haddish joke? I can admit I do not, except for she ready, and that's not really a joke. It's just an annoying intro. No, that's not even annoying. You know what that is? What that's is marketing. That? Is Her it? company is called yeah. She Ready. Oh, so wow. she does that to that's make it. Brand. Yeah, she's making y'all think that that's a saying, but it's really like how Fifty Cent say "Get the strap." It's it's marketing. What is that? What is "Get the strap"? It's uh, it, it started as a hashtag. That's what I thought. Like Martin is Martin. 
that's his. Huh? That's his brand. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. That's kind of how it goes. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, but no, but it's marketing. But that's not a joke. The booty hole line from the movie. I hated that. Even if she freestyled that, that's not really a joke. I hated that, and I I, I hated that part. It but just, that's what she's known for is booty hole. I like hated top it. joke that she's told. If you don't know anything else from Tiffany Haddish, you know booty hole. I don't even think that's funny. I think it just sounds so. Dis- I think it sounds so disgusting. It's like the most disgusting words you could say. Like mm, worse I'm than just, cunt. I'm, yeah, because it, it 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 creates a picture. Cunt is too British, though. If you say if you say uh, booty hole, it, it makes you think of an actual picture of the booty hole. I don't like it. I feel uncomfortable. Okay. Didn't you didn't you bring up like booty hole chocolates or something one day? Never. Yeah, you did. Mm, I think, it was I, think there was some I never called them that. I was showing, I don't remember what it was, but I didn't call I know I didn't say the word. I I shuddered saying it just now. What about cornhole? You know what? You need help. Okay. I was gonna say you need Jesus. Is that worse or better? You need that's Jesus. better. Cornhole's better than booty <laughs> that's hole. That's disgusting. I don't know what that is. But I don't what about do you alternate do, pussy? Do you, <laughs> what is it? Front hole? That's what, what it is. <laughs> oh, that's the alternate. So when you when you get either either it's bleeding or it's tired. <gasps> okay. You go okay. to the alternate. We're right. pussy. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back to Tiffany Haddish. Are we back? Why is your deep breath there? Are we back? We're back. Okay, great. I think so, one third of the show was just grossing out Chris. I'm not gonna do Taking it. Taking her beyond her limits. I'm not right. gonna do that. That was way too much. So, so I, if you ever do tell us your body count, are you counting anal? I, for now, I'm just gonna I'm gonna document that for later. But We're gonna do you consider that one? do you consider anal sex sex? Is what I'm asking. I, yeah, I do. I okay. do. I consider it sex. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I mean, it's that means she's done it. No, it doesn't. Uh, no, it doesn't. I I think that it, it's considered sex. Period. I mean, I don't. In fact, I would think that would be a, a step beyond. Yeah, that's more than sex. Well, I mean, more commitment. It huh? does imply that some of your sexual encounters have been anal only. Really? Why? That's what it says. Could you could you do an anal only um, session or did you oh, think? Oh, you know what, guys? Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. We're talking about <laughs> Tiffany Haddish and. Did y'all do an elbow bump? It was, it, it was a lazy fist bump. It was necessary though. Right. It was, it was That's necessary. So good. Tiffany Haddish. Uh, ooh, besides, ooh, the, ooh. besides the 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 booty hole, which right. I'm not going to say that one more time, and she ready, which you you've definitely proved is not a joke. I yeah. don't remember any. She t- said it with such spirit, though. Well, okay, so cat credit that, that's true, and she does the nay nay with it. That's stupid. Um, <laughs> cat Williams said she never had a special. Disagree. I just showed you right. guys. You just that showed us our. Showtime. She had a Showtime special. Now the decision to go to Showtime as opposed to somewhere else was probably a bad decision. Well, I don't because, know if it was a decision. Maybe it was an opportunity. Maybe she didn't get an opportunity to go to HBO or go to Netflix. I know she has a Netflix show coming up as a result of this recent success. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think that Tiffany Haddish, in my opinion, I think that the reason the reason I'm upset with Cat Williams for constantly bashing her is because we really just can't afford that. Like, we can't afford to constantly... Bash each other for our, you know, she's nominated for an Emmy, which actually Cat Williams went back and congratulated her and knelt in front of her. So I think he was just blowing smoke. Maybe he's a little resentful because some of the women he feels like are more deserving didn't get that chance. But that's not for you to do, you know. Are you? Are, are you was that code word for saying Cat Williams has short man syndrome? No, he did. He did kneel in front of her. He physically knelt in front. Yeah, of her. there's a, there's an Instagram picture of like of him to? of him kneeling in front of her. It's, I mean, it's, no, that's that's fine. I'm referring to all the other all the other comments, like you what know, short men saying? always like have to prove that they kind of go so. above and beyond. I think comedians are you know people that have issues usually and figure out ways to. <laughs> <laughs> figure out ways to deal with their issues. So, I mean, Kev, you know, obviously, Cat Williams is a very tiny man. I don't think anybody He is, would. what, 4'11"? He's tiny. I mean, Kevin Hart is a tiny little man. Which which bugs me out, too, because how the hell... How the hell what? How the hell do you pull, pull a gun on somebody 4'11"? Well, you've got way ahead of the story, but you're I right. Know, but... I, I agree with you. Like, what are we doing? Yeah, let's not go there yet, because I wanted to talk about the other women he brought up in the... The women he's like, well, I don't know who else would be deserving of that. Uh, Kama- I, well, I mean, some what's more- her name? Kama- what's her first name? Melanie. Melanie Mel- Camacho. Not funny and ugly. Ugly matters. I think com- comedy is the one place you can get away with being ugly. But Heather, Heather what's her name? Melanie. I I, Melanie. Melanie Camacho. Mm. 
Um, he he also mentioned Lunell. You got to be fucking kidding me, right? <laughs> Here's the Hate thing, right? Here's she's a, here, spoken out against Tiffany Haddish as well. Here's the thing, right? And she's they, upset. They, I think that everybody knows something that we don't know. That's what I think. I think that, that I mean, I, I think the people always are going to have negative things to say when someone else surpassed them, you know? But I think, I guess they're feeling like she surpassed them in, 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 in the wrong Without way, maybe. Without talent. Now, he also made s- some statements, not on the Frank and Wanda show, just about the fact that Tiffany Haddish mentioned that she wanted to have sex with Leonardo DiCaprio and the fact that she was talking about having sex with a white man is what made people... I just think that's she all... She was married to a white guy, too, right? Yeah, but I mean, he said that's why she's so... I, I don't believe that. I think, you know... I never saw her in that light, so for him to throw that spin on it was, yeah. was different, so I didn't... I mean, because honestly, when she was talking about her husband and what was going on, Mm -hmm. be for real. Okay, she got abused or whatever, but I kind of didn't give a shit. Oh, well, I kind of didn't give a shit. But why not? I mean, because he was white? She was selling the book. But I mean, that's what books, that's what makes So you're telling me the drama of the book, and I was like, I ain't really tripping on reading the Tiffany Haddish book. So. But everybody that does an autobiography talks about all the bad stuff. You're in a terrible relationship. Sorry that happened. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Everybody that's in a bad relation, everybody that writes an autobiography, there's always pain. I don't think people would read it if there wasn't bad stuff. I, on, the, on the plane back from D.C. this weekend, I read the autobiography of Gucci Man, Gucci Mane. And it was a lot of pain. A lot Did of pain. Brittany, what's her name, write it? Co-write it with him? No, a, a Jewish guy. Oh, of course. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of pain. A book. Or a book. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs to go out and get Gucci Man's book because what have you done with your life if well, you haven't? He, but he went to pri- he went to jail a lot. A yeah, but lot. I don't, but you know, duh. But <laughs> right, like, <laughs> right, right, is that the shocker? That's what's getting the, moving the books off the shelf. You know what? When you were reading the book, did you hear Gucci Man's voice? Was it old Gucci or new Gucci? I don't ever want to hear Gucci Man's voice. I don't like it, so I didn't hear it. No, I tune it out. It's like when I when I read words, I hear voices, and so that would have. If it was a book written by Denzel Washington, I, I think I would hear his voice. But no, I don't. I didn't. I don't want to hear Gucci Mane's voice. I do think that what the what autobiographies show me is that there's always a rhyme. There's a rhyme and a reason to how people end up where they are. Right. I think when we were looking at some of the Tiffany Haddish specials that Be Honest just pulled up. You know, she talks a lot about a very painful childhood. You know what I mean? And I yeah. think that. A lot of times, comedians especially, most artists, you know, creativity usually is birthed from pain. So there's usually a reason. You look at Gucci and he's going to jail and doing drugs and getting into all these violent outbursts. But then you look at his childhood, there was definitely a path that led to that, you know, that that um, destruction. So I think, to me, what's the point of writing an autobiography if you're not going to ex- illustrate where how that journey happened? Okay. Do, right. you, do you guys feel like Tiffany Haddish is the funniest female comedian right now? I mean, who else is... I don't even think we have a lot of female comedians. You I know? like her better than Wanda Sykes, though. I like Wanda Sykes better. I think Wanda Sykes is funnier. I do. I, I like Wanda Sykes. Um, I think... I like... Well... You know, I think there's a difference between a comedian and a comedic actress. I think Tiffany Haddish is probably a great comedic actress. Actually, I don't know about her stand-up. I don't know about her hosting things. I like her. I think in a show, she's, you know, she's she's funny. She's She was in, um, you know, she's had some parts in different shows. And I think she plays the... Ghetto. She's the color. I think Ellen is probably the funniest female comedian I've ever. Yeah, I witnessed. agree. Like, I agree. Ellen is funny. Hands down. I know she's at a different stage in her career, or whatever. But when but she first she's started, you're funny right. When you're not trying, she reminded me of Seinfeld, like a female Seinfeld. Yeah, I give you that. I, I think that. Tiffany is the color in the the show. Like she's the Charles Barkley of the show. Like the, they have the the straight, the straight guys who are uh, Kenny and um, Ernie, right? Chuck is the color. He's the one right. that comes in with a left ball opinion or whatever. Right. And now they added Chuck. Chuck is the other color. So they're both going back and forth at each other with the color. Meanwhile, the real show is, you know, Kenny and Ernie. Out, they're right. telling you the stats and they're giving you all the real information. And then there's this oddball thing that comes right. out. You Just know? to entertain you. And, and that's, that's exactly that's who what Tiffany is. That's what Girls Trip was. Right. I mean, you have Queen Latifah and Jada Pinkett and Regina Hall, all right. very real, heavy, serious actresses. 
you need some light hearted fun yeah. and the, I, the booty hole that entertained a lot of people I think people saw themselves in the in the in the uh, in the group everybody sees themselves as one of those or relates to one of those characters and I think we can't leave that character out I don't know about her being a comedian you know but I think people I don't are, think she's funny I, I don't but I don't think any women comedians are funny you, you've said that before you don't think Wanda Sykes is funny no did you think Ellen was funny no Okay, and he's consistent. Okay, I don't think women comedians. They just I, I don't relate. You know, like Amy Schumer. Or- oh God, no! They try too hard. Like they, it's almost like women rappers, and we've talked about this again. Like women rappers don't really know where they fit, so they have to either be hard or they got to be sexy. But that's really not what I want from rap. And the same goes with comedy. They either got to be nasty. Like Adele Givens or you know the the back those back in the day or Lunell, or they got to be sexy. But that doesn't really fit in comedy. So then what does a woman talk about? I think, I mean, Adele Givens was funny. So, I mean, I'm not going to laugh the entire time, but I'm going to laugh every once in a while. Um, Who? Adele Givens. Yeah, she's, I think she's a little older now. So it's Monique? The, well, the Monique kick, is funny. The, I mean, I, again, I, I'm not going to laugh the entire time. The kickback I always get is Ali Wong. Have y'all seen her? Yeah. Yeah. She's very specific about her target audience, yeah, though. She is. And to them, she's probably hilarious. Housewives, you know, have just yeah, had kids. I like her. They're, they're, you know what I'm saying? They're, there's a there's a target audience that she's probably perfect for, but that's not me. There's you know a what I'm saying? Girl, there's right. a new girl that was that just did a Netflix, a Netflix special, and I she was funny to me. It's a white girl. She's blonde. The thing is, she's very pretty, and you don't expect her to be funny. But she, re- I'll find, I'll find it, and I'll post it um, in the show notes. But um, she was really funny to me. I, I really was surprised. She's on. She has a new Netflix special. I chuckled a couple times at Michelle Wolf, but to me, she was doing male comedy. You what know does what I'm saying? Mean? What is male she comedy? Do, well, she does political comedy, but and, she was making fun then... of of. Bitch shit, and yeah. that's what like got. What? I don't. I can't. You have to watch it. You know, she was going to the correspondence dinner, and she talked about everybody. Okay, remember she has like the really crazy, like reddish hair. I don't know her. Oh, okay, yeah. No. She, she, but she, her special was on HBO, I believe. But she just basically did male humor, and it was. I chuckled a couple of times. Women. So basically, you just like men stuff. You don't. They're just better at I, humor. No, we're not. I mean, well, okay. what do you expect them to relate to? I mean, I, I'm I'm not a man, but I can relate to if I'm listening to a Kevin Hart joke. My one of my favorite Kevin Hart jokes is when he's <laughs> when he's trying to say that you know male friends should lie for each other, and it's like, you know, it's the night it's the, it's the fourth quarter. My back is against the, against the wall. Help me, you know, and and a friend doesn't get the lie. Like I I've never been in that situation, but I can relate to it. It's funny. You know, I know guys. Side of it? I've been on the other side of it. Yeah. See, women don't do that though. Women don't give you. Women don't. Comedians don't give you. It's it's really for women. There's no other side. Like there's oh. a, there's a female Ooh, comedian on the internet that she has a whole routine about the nail salon, right? That's not geared towards men. It's funny. Hmm. She does a great accent, but okay. she ain't talking so, to so me. Guys, She's talking to who I'm with. But what about the comedians? And they may it may be considered nasty, but they'll talk about sex from a female's perspective. Who cares about sex from a female's perspective? Well, okay. All we right. already got to so bend over fucking trying, backwards oh, oh to have God. sex with y'all. We got to, you know what I'm saying? We got to listen and pay attention and, you know what I'm saying? Like it's already Prove so- Prove your love. It's already so much we got to do. Okay, so we obviously you're not money. trying to be realistic. You're not trying to be realistic. You're just being an asshole. So, okay. I'm being realistic. No, you're not. Okay, so- Tell me a funny bit about sex. To the I mean, woman I'm here. not a comedian, so you're no, not going to put you me remember? on the. You're when not going to you put remember? me on the. I mean, obviously, Adele Givens talking about the size of a guy and it being being equivalent to a tic tac, a, a whale trying to you know give head to a tic tac. So what does that sound like? Do you male bashing? Nobody wants to hear. It doesn't that. sound like male. Like you. You know what? I'm not going to get sucked in, guys. I'm not going to do it. I'm not <laughs> Whatever. Do it. I'm, I'm just saying she can't tell a joke without bashing a man. That's not bashing. Guys constantly, Cat Williams said that women, he made fun of the fact that women are either about how women have sex, right? Either she's a greedy fish or um, I don't remember what he called the other. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think Cat Williams is funny. Really? Cat Williams' first stand up, the very first Pimp one. Chronicles. Hilarious. The second yeah. one, pretty good. Everything since has been the same act, the same show. It's just a repeat of the same show. I think Cat Williams is funny. It hasn't I changed. I like Cat Williams. I think he's yeah. funny. I think he's funny. I wish First that he. One. I wish that he didn't. Now that one is the there funniest. Are people that I think are funnier. Who? They actually aren't as like. 
I Dave like Michael Chappelle. Blackson. I think Michael Blackson is fucking hilarious. I don't think Michael Blackson. Me either. No. Psh, mother, I suck. I. He, he's he's, he's funny just... on Instagram, not in stand up. Like, I don't want to see an hour of Michael Blackson. I don't know anything. It, it, most times when I hear Michael Blackson, that shit make me giggle. I but it's on Instagram, it it's in a short bite. Sure, yeah. He said Gerard Carmichael wasn't funny. I think Gerard Carmichael is funny. I like Gerard funny. Carmichael. He's he got it's, smart. Yeah, it's more intelligent. Funny. I like yeah. the smart comedy. Yeah, yeah, it's more intelligent. Sorry, cat, that it's not nigga shit. It's more right, right, right. Yeah, but, I, I, and I mean Dave Chappelle obviously is hilarious. I, but you know what? To be honest with Cat Williams, I think the 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 pimp thing that he kind of relies on. He doesn't do that anymore, though. Only well, he doesn't do it as much. But I think he's one. It's part of him. But it, he's only got. I don't know. There's only so much room. You can only I take it so I far. Don't agree with that, I just feel like it's the same. He jokes. does political stuff. He does a lot of political stuff. Right. And I mean, I thought I think he's really funny. I think he's funny because I think that he is smart. He does do smart comedy. I think he's smarter than he's given credit for. No, I his, agree. His, his jokes aren't smart. His his he he's then that's and that's the thing that I like about Cat. The the jokes are just they feel repeated, but. Him as a person, as mm-hmm. much as they've ridiculed him as about being crazy right. and whatever, one thing about him, I feel like he is really authentic. Intelligent. Right. No, no. Yeah. Authentic, I feel like he is yeah. really, he's not going to pull punches for you. I don't know why he went so hard at, at Wanda, but he wasn't pulling punches. He wasn't. He wasn't saying things that weren't true. Semi, and funny. semi, tr- and funny. Funny. R- br- brutal. But what was the br- what was the most brutal joke he gave? He talked about how she was fat. He started when he started going on the fat. But stuff. she mentioned that he was small and the wig stuff. And he told she couldn't. she mentioned his hair first. I thought the blood pressure personally. I, I, <laughs> it was yeah, it was <laughs> rough. If you can't bring your blood pressure down, then don't <laughs> call me that. Yeah, that was. Nick, it's, I didn't it was see that rough. coming. I, that was, <laughs> it was rough. Yo, that, but as a dude, Cat Williams is, is a is that dude. As and let me be guy. for real too, broccoli. Hey man. Yeah. She walked into that though. Yeah. Why did she say that? Well, I don't why did she but you know, say that? He didn't really say shit either video, though. But if, but if you watch the video, he looked at Red Grant like his eye, their eyes connected. <laughs> like, he was like, oh shit. I think she just said it. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> hey, 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 look, like he was on it. Right. But, I mean, anybody when she said it, I was just like, yeah. "Come on, man!" Yeah, he didn't really say anything either. He didn't because I think he said something that was super ghetto. It like, was, it was like, like uh, mixing uh, spaghetti, twelve and, chicken wings, and you know, <laughs> and what then, yeah, you have some, and then you have because you have different kids. Some kids like vegetarian, and I have one that eats all meat and one that eats all vegetables. But she you said have, broccoli. She did not even with cheese, just regular <laughs> broccoli. <laughs> broccoli, not even a broccoli casserole. I suck at cooking, but I could cook broccoli. Why didn't she say casserole? They love my broccoli. Oh. Mom, make some more broccoli. She, I think that's proof that she wasn't thinking. Fa- she's not quick on her feet. Here's a like, question. Oh, Yo, my clearly, God. Clearly, she's not quick on her feet because she she was on her heels from that. Is she, she a comedian, though? I don't think she's ever she, really... She mm, does stand-up mm, comedian. She referred to herself as a comedian, is, but I ain't... I, like, like, that's, I'm, what she, that's the name is, she calls us. Who is the frankly, guy? I thought Frank was funny. No, no, no. Who is the guy? She Remember, she used to do uh, stand-up with a guy, Griff. Yeah, Griff. Yeah. You remember Griff? Yeah. He was a comedian. Yeah. I think her, her and him got together. She started becoming like a comedian because of their relationship. I don't know. Maybe she was just I, known in the comedy world. Exactly. I don't remember ever really, no, really being a comedian. I'm telling you guys, in 2004 or 2005, I saw J.B. Smoove, which may, he made me laugh so hard. He's I funny. was crying. J.B. Smoove Like, funny. he's stupid. I didn't realize. I had never seen him before. I didn't know who he was. We were crying. And Wanda, Wanda Smith opened for them. This was in Oklahoma. in you know, Bumble... Right, blank. So she was somewhere else doing comedy. She was. Her. She was okay. opening for them, and oh, he was wow. like one of the headliners. Was she funny at all? No. Yeah. No. Oh, okay. So, that, but I remember that. I remember her. She's a show host. And then when I came here, I was like, right. oh, it makes more sense for her to be on the radio because she actually. Here's a question. Why did Frank laugh so hard at all of it? Because it was funny. But he didn't even try to help. He it was, was like, help he, funny. She I don't know. was throwing her I, own like like but, she wants to blame Frank now, but, but what she did was she do? Her own jazz. She didn't do anything really. I don't remember jazz jazz. Because all she threw was duds. They everything were, everything. They were duds. But she kept doing and he said You've been to prison. And Frank said <laughs> Dud. Frank said that he said every time she would say go to break, and if you guys go back and watch the tape, she would try to get one out and hurry up and go to break. Oh yeah. And then Kat would come back. Because he was even saying the Lane Bryant stuff under his breath, like, mm-hmm. uh, and then they would and they would start laughing. So she was trying to, and I get it, it's her show. She was trying to have the last word and go to break, and it right. just cat was too fast for her. So he said, "You kept telling me to 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 go to break." He said, "I don't have a magic button. I have the same button on my that you do." Right. So and because she said that she felt like Frank should have been the man of the house and, and stepped her. up and pre- that- yeah. 
happens to be the pussiest shit <laughs> I've heard this week. Now, I'm going to admit that. I'm going to say, because I do, we cannot as women, because Wanda clowns everybody on the show. Mm. I don't even, even listen to the show. I don't even anymore. But not she talks shit about everybody. Maybe that's she why Cat did it because there was didn't there didn't seem to, he struck first. I don't care what you say. He struck first in that interview. I don't think he did. Yeah, no, she, I she think was Wanda back. Did. She, she did, but it was she was taken up for Tiffany Haddish or the other women. She but didn't you strike can't, first. But, that, but if if you and I are going back and forth, I'm taking up for Kevin. That doesn't mean that I'm attacking you. That's not the That's, same but, thing. But he, he, if you're attacking he, Kevin, he and attacked I'm, her. But if you guys are saying that she's always doing that, then maybe he was like, "Oh, like how you maybe one of my homeboys came in here before you did that, and you do it every I, week." I would love that, but I don't think that's what no, it was. No, but she she man played Frank is what it was. Because if me and B were going at it, <laughs> right? If me and B were going at it, right? And and I get my ass handed to me, right? And I blame you for right. not stopping right. him. Right. You, that's true. That's true. That's that's. What? And then for, for her Because Wanda doesn't hell. come off As a type of woman That's super feminine And needs protection Right And then for her to say Well I feel like You ought to stood up And been the man I'm nah, like bro. we can't We can't you're, call that You're a comedian If you're a comedian Like Frank was supposed to Get a tug on his belt Say hey Come on, now, some Hold women, on now Some women are like that I would like Hold to go on, on the record Kat. Saying Please defend me I am not a man, feminist Man that was shit worth defending I want a man to defend me Even if they're my friends Whoa we Please. had a situation Like this actually Between the three of us what? We had an interview at one of the music conferences we were doing. Oh, we did. And, we, and, and yeah, we did. I feel like I it was Crystal's that. responsibility to speak up for herself because had we jumped in that and Crystal didn't want to be stuck up for, first of all, the new feminism thing. I'm I'm not I'm not here for that. Well, so. I'm going on record saying I'm not a part of that, and I want to be defended. <laughs> and I was waiting for you guys to jump in because he was really just going. I don't. He had. It was like he was going hard for he me. He was trying to teach well, see, this, He was trying to teach her. Like, he was content, being chauvinistic. The content of the conversation matters. Had he got you at you in a threatening way, or right. called you out of your name, right. or said some shit, he that was, was not Cat Williams in you. That was. You that would have been a different. That definitely would have been a man step up. I and can't protect looking at so be honest so for forth. help, and he was just looking at me like I don't know. What he was trying to teach <laughs> you, you how to just be in a better an awkward woman. Conversation, want me to bail you out? That was not, that was very awkward. He was trying no. to teach you how to be a woman, but like, I did. I kept, making, I kept making I kept eye contact with this one, and he was looking like, "Hey, you're the like, fuck, right?" Because it when, came from nowhere too. See, what happens is that when women get into awkward conversations, they have their girlfriends come and save them. Oh, he's talking to me. Or, I need her. We're going to right. the bathroom now. So you have somebody step in and save you. When men get into <laughs> Awkward conversations You know mm-hmm. what happens Our friends look From a mile away And we laugh at you And talk shit about that later <laughs> Okay you but know, I'm Why just the saying, fuck Was you talking to XYZ I'm just going on the record Saying I want the protection future. All the time I am not one of those women That doesn't I always want protection From a nice friendly guy Okay, so let's let's do this then. <laughs> let's do this. Uh, so uh, in, in hindsight, you know, I'm maybe in hindsight, maybe me and Kevin should have slacked up that, that. No, I wasn't afraid of him, but no, I, I didn't did keep so. looking at you for like what you is did. happening. Was, you you look, did, look. but but he, come but, get me. She's but, giving you the eyeball. You get can't him. you can't pretend like that wasn't interesting. The stuff that he was. Coming. I didn't think it was Yo. interesting. Yeah, I, I thought did. he was. I being thought this shit was amazing. Hilarious. It was not hilarious. He was no comedian, but it was hilarious. It was not funny. I thought this shit was amazing. Amazing. Well, that's just the fact that no, no, no. I was struggling. I was on the edge of my seat. I don't think what he was saying was amazing. I don't like him right now. I think that the 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 interaction. Your reaction, your amazing. response to it, you seeing you cringe <laughs> but try to hold a straight face, oh, brilliant, amazing. brilliant, grace. Hey, look, so it goes down as one of my favorite moments. That is a that is an all time. Uh, that was a ninety ten rule moment. <laughs> That's probably my favorite ninety ten rule moment. Oh god, yes. I'm very insulted, guys. Because really? that it was a really, I was really upset. You really upset? Get over it. A fever? Okay, so look, let's do this. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I want you guys to, to label it too. I feel like Cat Williams is probably top ten right now, comedian. You agree? Oh, with top comedian. I think he's like top ten, right? Top I think he's top five. Yeah, I right. Think he's right top top now, comedian. My... Okay, is he top ten all time? I don't think so. No, I, I think he's top five right now. I don't think he's top ten all time. He may be top five right now. Yeah, yeah. top five all time. Top no. ten all time. I no. don't think so. No, not I, all I'm, time. We agree. We all agree. Woo. But you know what? We some, have like a bell ding or something. We all agree. We all agreed on something. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll say that. But something about Cat Williams actually, and I don't know if it's just the his how quick he is or, mm-hmm. or what it is, but something reminds something about him reminds me of Richard Pryor. Well, I think it's impossible mm-hmm. to be a comedian after and not Richard, have Pryor Richard Pryor and not remind you of Richard Pryor. That's fair. 
Eddie Murphy, fair. if you go back and listen to impact. Delirious right now, you'd be like, it, wow, this is fucking Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Yeah. I didn't yeah. hear it back then. Yeah, when I was young, true. I didn't hear it. Go listen to it now. You're like, that's Richard Pryor. Yeah, yeah. but Eddie Murphy Lawrence, was always same thing. very, they're, they're all have been very, um, you know, uh, paid a lot of homage to him and said that they all kind of pattern themselves after him. So okay. I think he was, you know, I guess the godfather of that. I, I didn't I didn't hear about this next part, but I, somebody touched on it. A gun was pulled. So okay, so Wanda Wanda is very upset. She she kind of holds it together. You can she see that she's mad. crumbling, right? She but she's mad. big mad. She mad as hell about that broccoli man. So she goes to do her set because she was actually doing comedy with Red Grant that night. Okay. And her husband comes, Lamoris, comes with her. Wow. And um and he, uh, according Chased. to her, no, according to her, cat. Now this is Wanda's story. Let me know by raising your hand if you believe her story. She says that she walks up and Cat Williams runs up to her and says, I told you fucking with me, you would go viral. Then her husband comes over and says, hey, man, leave my wife alone. And Cat Williams says, I'll jump on your big ass, too. By a show of hands, who believes that story? Show of hands? I believe that story. You believe that Cat Williams said, I'll <laughs> jump on no, his big man. ass? Are you kidding? I believe, Get out hey, of here. Look, if any nigga is named Lamaris. Do not fuck with that nigga. He's going to pull a gun on you. <laughs> Did you say Lamoris? Yes. A nigga named Lamoris is going to pull a gun on you. A nigga named Lamoris in Georgia. He's going to pull a gun on you. Yeah. Well, I don't think Cat Williams <laughs> uh, went up to her and and threatened her like that. Cat Williams that is a loose cannon sense. sometimes. He is a loose cannon. Nah, nah, I definitely can't attest sound, to that. It don't sound right. But it doesn't even make sense. It I'll corny. jump. On, first of all, I'll corny. jump on your big ass too. That it suggests I'm going to... fast. Yeah, I'm going to jump on... You first to T O O meaning in addition to maybe meant T W O <laughs> like first her on you then both you. at the same time. But no, Lamoris, you don't mess with nobody named Lamoris. Come on, but he he's got a, a lot gun. of shit to make up for in life. He pulled a gun out. Okay, not only Lamoris did he does pull... sound like a big John Coffee man. It asking. sounds like the Green Mile, yeah. right? So not only did he pull a gun out. On Cat, he also called Frank Ski and told him that he should have defended his wife. And Frank said that Nigga, he felt no like wife. that now was... Now, that is the second pussy and shit <laughs> that I've heard fuck? this week. Frank said he felt like that yo, was way out of line, which yo, I... Like, who does that? I don't care what it is, what hardships in life that you've been through. Right. Has there ever been a time where you as a man said, I need to get someone else to defend my wife? I would be... Oh, wow. I didn't think about it like that. I would... I would yeah. Has there ever been a time when you said, you know what? It's that nigga's fault <laughs> that my wife wasn't protected. That's a good point. It better Nigga. be. It better be some real shit that my wife went through. Like she, it had well, to be okay, real. Yeah, if, if the Yo, guy had hit her had, physically, no, that would my be wife th- gonna have to be Secret Service. That's but the, if he uh, physically hit her, I could see a guy saying, "How you right. gonna sit there and let and her let get her, hit? hit?" Right. But, but that he didn't, didn't get hit. Yeah. And, but he called, and Frank said he felt like that was very unprofessional. Like they are hosts. Most importantly, Wanda roasts people every day. Take it. Frank Ski made a statement that they that they've been around because he because Wanda said that he she felt like Frank should have stopped it. He said there was a time when people were going back and forth, and someone said I don't know if Wanda said it, but someone said to Jamie Foxx. That's why your parents want you now because you got money. They didn't want you before. And he said it was obvious that Jamie Foxx stopped. You could tell it bothered him. Wanda didn't have any, you know, she was not, she was unbothered. She's the person who said it? I don't know if she said it, but she definitely was around and and knew and and remembered it. Uh But the point is, he said, you were there when that happened and we knew that that bothered him. And Wanda didn't say, oh, we shouldn't have said that. Like, she's just going back and forth laughing. Mm -hmm. I've heard her on the show clown people and not. You know, it, it. So all of a sudden, she felt like because she was getting clown, Frank Ski should have jumped in, and she was in. She she just sounded very victim like yeah, on the and radio that's, this and morning. That's bullshit. Because if she's mad at herself because all her jokes were duds, <laughs> no, like no laughing matter. All her jokes were duds. If she had landed a joke about yeah, him, she, about she Cat Williams fine. in prison, yeah, it didn't work though. Yeah. Yeah. It had that joke. Had she, she actually roasted cat? <laughs> yeah, she did. She repeated it. Yeah, she it. did. If she roasted cat, then it would have been a totally different conversation. I agree. But because she got her ass handed to her, she got embarrassed on the radio. She, she did. got embarrassed big on the radio. But if, honestly, though, there are some people that you know you just, you're not going to beat at that, right? And I think Cat Williams is one of those, those I people. I think he cr- proved quickly because mm-hmm. he just kept co- he kept going. But I think there was a way to, if you, if you, I don't like the dozens, right? And I've been around, especially guys. 
Guys say something and everybody laughs. I just try to quickly detonate the situation because I'm not going to get... There are some girls that can go back How? and forth. How do you detonate it? I just stop talking. Who, out of the boob? No, I never do that. I just stop talking. And I just stop talking and I just look downward. Do you, okay, so you try not to laugh so it don't turn on you? <laughs> Um, I I do look away. You I look been away because I don't want the person. Oh, to I think know that I'm, you ain't laughing. Yeah, right. yeah. I, but see, guys don't really do that to girls. But nah, yeah, yeah they do. Nah, we I've never. Know. Yeah, I I look away though. I nah, don't laugh in the person's if face. Still trying to smash. Yeah, but if it, okay, you're right. If it's somebody you're trying to smash, but if it's around somebody who's the home girl, she can get it too. I don't want it. Kids so, can get it too. Yeah. I don't want people it. can don't get it too. Me. I don't want to play those games. I don't want to play those. Unsuspected those... white people can get it too. Like... Anybody can get it. Parents <laughs> roast their kids all the time. Yes, I do. They, anybody can get in it. a friendly environment, but not with. We people. just talked about your yeah, gay we ass love dog. You, but we don't yeah, y'all you. and y'all, but y'all were very rude. That's why he was crying. Oh, okay. I heard his feelings. You did. I heard his you feelings. did. You heard his feelings. <laughs> I, heard, I heard the test tube puppy but look, feelings. Though, honestly, though, if if she had just taken her lumps, no one would have blamed her for being beaten by Cat Williams no. at a roast because no. we know he's yeah, just that's what he he's does. just better than the average yeah. guy. Do you guys remember when he was talking Steve about? Um, no, he was oh. talking about Flavor Flav, crispy, crackety, crunchily. Oh, yeah. Like he, uh-huh. that's just what he does. He's hilarious. I would not. Kev, I've seen Kevin Hart go. Just in on a person to the point where they were just bloody and laying. I mean, he just he keeps going and 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 he doesn't stop because that's what. First of all, they were picked on. I'm sure when they were a kid because they were so small. Mm-hmm. So they have defenses built up from like kindergarten that the rest of us don't have. So don't don't and, don't do it. And the, uh, the the trick to that is they're saying six or seven jokes at once. Yeah. So four of them might be. Awful, but there's gonna be one or two that hit. And, if they, you're coming, and they piggyback off of right, each other. And if you're coming with one joke every time they say seven, you're not, she wouldn't you're survive in, prison. in Memphis. What she about you being in prison? I'll tell you right now, she wouldn't survive in Memphis. Right. They yeah, she, run off jokes concurrently. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't well, no, I mean, matter of fact, you know what? She because she said something that caught my attention. What did she say? And I was like, okay, so she said, Well, I'm not the kind of comedian that goes back and forth. But she does. What kind of comedian doesn't well, what kind of comedian doesn't tell jokes though? Like I don't I don't But she what does. Do you mean by I've that? seen her do it to other people. Like she mm-hmm. does, but they don't really have anything to come back at her with. Like she makes fun of people Why, all the she time. Why? Because she's the host. Maybe that's what it is. Because she's the host. Normally, right. she's given some type of uh, now another a, a an- privilege. Another radio personality. One of my friends, Miss Shanika. She said. She did a post and she said, nobody comes on my show and disrespects me. That would have went totally different if it was my show, which I believe Shanika ain't really with the shits like that. But Cat would have dusted her ass. I don't but think Shanika got a Shanika different energy. Not, yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, her right, energy right, is different. Right, totally right. different energy. She, she would, it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even have went but there. But if right. he wanted to, he would have dusted her But I'm her just ass. saying, I could see her saying, I'm not going to be disrespected on my show. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I, mm-hmm. I can respect that. Right. But, I mean, I she feel got like... Dusted. I don't think she got disrespected. She just got dusty. Yeah, Wanda didn't get disrespected. It was just, she just was dirty as fuck. Yeah, yeah. She was scabs and shit. The but next I mean, day. I don't think, I, I mean, what's off the table when you're, when you're saying, when you're joking like that? Prison, saying that he's been in prison, that's obviously a, a, a sensitive subject. His children, his hair, like, he clowned her hair, she clowned his. Like, she clowned his, 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 uh, the way he looked and his clothes, and he clowned hers and her jewelry. Like, I, to me, it, it was $12 for tat- worth of jewelry at, from the gas station. <laughs> $7.99 yes, with a free car wash. Twelve nine. yeah. He, 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 but see, that I mean, prison, see, that prison joke. But the headset and the hair at the same time was and hilarious. That prison mm-hmm. attempt at a joke. Yeah. That raised that the went, stakes. Because she was trying yeah. to, because that wasn't a joke to lift that was, somebody up. That was right. cutting that below was the belt. That was a joke to cut down. Yeah. She was trying to belittle his existence. So that's then when she said, she, that's, why that's she true, got I didn't think about got. that. So then the blood pressure thing is kind of, then it's, mm-hmm. it's all fair. Huh? Well, I don't know. I, I think that. Um, and I broccoli, think, we know your big ass is cooking way more than broccoli. Why did she, she say cooks. broccoli though? I just hey, still man. don't understand why she said broccoli. But you but you know what? Here's the truth. Who really likes broccoli? I like broccoli. I like broccoli too. But and I mean, I've can never I tell been you like, something? I think- can I share something with you guys? And i and for the viewers also, oh my God. Cheesecake Factory, roasted broccoli <laughs> is the most amazing side ever. Like, you're laughing False. now. Have you had it? False. Have you had it though? I, I bet it. you haven't had it. I guarantee. 
You know what? We're going to do a Facebook Live. We're going to go to Cheesecake Factory before October's out. They're going to take me for my birthday. Oh, that was on you. You no, inviting us you out. you taking me for my birthday. And we're going to have roasted broccoli. And I'm going to show you. This is the best. If she makes that broccoli. For, I'm not going all the way to Cheesecake Factory for roasted broccoli. But broccoli. you're going to have some. You're going to take you're gonna taste some of mine. Do you know, you know a woman that could cook? Yes. I know a woman that can cook. Can you cook yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. You know other women that cook well? Of course. I'm willing to believe that any of those women could cook cardboard and it would be just as fucking delicious as, as a broccoli. <laughs> as one that's some broccoli. salt and pepper, some butter. Shh, man, that shit get to dripping, please. So who is Lamora's not pulling a gun out on, though? Because at this point, now everybody's disrespecting her in the sense. Hey. Well, she said that she was from Miami or she's from Florida. And she wasn't hurt by any of the comments online. Whatever. She went home and cried. She wouldn't have made it in my high school. <laughs> Serious stuff. Like, I don't that think was, my high school either because they that was awful. That was an awful. That. Rose, high school or college. I'm telling you right yeah. now. She go to TSU. She, she go to Memphis. She looked Memphis, uncomfortable. She better not do stand up in Memphis. They gonna roast the shit out of her. She looked uncomfortable. The audience. She will. she did. She you could tell her feelings were hurt. You could tell when somebody tells a joke hurt. that is like cuts and it hurts your feeling. It shakes mm-hmm. your your own self esteem up a little bit. It's it, like. It was too personal and she ain't It was. What? You got to play that shit off, man. And you know what? She What if she like prided herself on her broccoli? I think she did. What she if said it. Like, she said they like my broccoli. What if they was like, what if she was like, <laughs> bitch, my broccoli? <laughs> bar none, nigga. Ain't nobody fucking with my broccoli. But who said? I mean, most of the time when you, you think of your favorite bullshit. dish, it has a meat. And if you're a vegetarian, it has, it's a dish. Like, it's something like, you know. Nobody eats broccoli by itself. You no. pair it with something yeah, that tastes better. Yeah, it's a side. It's a, it's a compliment, if you will. Broccoli's only job is not to taste bitter. That's it. But broccoli smells like Doo doo when it's cooking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anyway. Okay. All right. Sorry. Yeah. Fuck broccoli, man. <laughs> I like broccoli. Oh, broccoli is good. Roasted broccoli from the Cheesecake Factory. Best broccoli ever. It's also not alkaline. Again, so it's not if, on Dr. Sabi's list. Again, if Wanda was making roasted broccoli, which takes a lot of, because I've tried it, olive oil ro- in the to get it the correct crispness, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's, it's it's a little rough. So Are she's making like broccoli a good, requires all these special instructions because it tastes amazing. Christmas. The, the olive oil the You gotta put olive oil on You gotta have a little bit of crisp A little bit of crunch If you will Oh god It's delicious They throw some Zatarans on it No I don't want I'm that. not into hot sauce But I'm telling you <laughs> Roasted that broccoli That hot sauce Is it? No I thought not. it was Seasoning Zatarans is not hot I don't hot like sauce. it It's hot It's from New Orleans Yeah <laughs> It's from New Orleans it's, It was born in New Orleans Yes bro, It's the little god. guys on the thing It's a New Orleans thing Don't, don't try me okay? okay It's from New Orleans Anyway Yeah um, Wanda and Lamoris played themselves this week because he running around town looking a whole fool. I mean, but you know what? But okay, let me. Okay, we we talked. You guys talked about this last they week. They the shit out a of girl, right If now. a woman tells her man that someone hurt her or that she's that someone hurt her feelings, you know, men are very reactive to that. So I mean, you know, maybe she went home and she was really upset, and it caused him to you know go into protector mode. You know, no, nope, she's a comedian. That's. That's her job. Her job is to talk about people and get... Like but you her, guys just said that it was a woman's job not to get her man all riled up. So, I mean... But she's a comedian, so it's a different breed. Like, I don't... It's a, it's a different... So if your wife cracks jokes, then she gets what she yeah, get? Yeah, it's a different <laughs> license. If somebody's heckling her in the audience, I'm not going to fight every nigga in the audience right. that's heckling right. her. You know what I'm saying? This like, yeah. go to jail behind broccoli. Most importantly, Cat Williams is three times... It, it, Lamoris, I'm sure, is three times the size He's like a of, piece of broccoli. He, <laughs> is she going to lose her job? I heard some, some rumors about her possibly losing her job because no, of her husband. But she did put out a statement that basically... D- d- it, Basically, there's obviously a um, some type of case going on of V103 because they couldn't talk about the gun on the air. Um, I don't think she's going to lose her job. Do you guys think that she there should be some type of... At, at the point that, that she was out at the comedy show and she's roasting someone and they come up to V103 for her, do you think that that person, like... They would go to jail. They would go to jail. So, so that's my point. Like, something that happened in the workplace carries over and you come looking to get retribution at another event, that's a problem, right? Yeah. That's a charge. Yeah. It's a charge. I, I don't know. If you, if anybody that works, in, especially anybody that works in corporate America, mm-hmm. you got a, some type of office job or some right. shit like that. Right. If y'all go off-site to a team builder, go to Dave and Buster's yeah. or some shit like that. That happens, yeah. And your husband pull a gun on your mm-hmm. co-worker. Oh, it's not. It's not. You, you out. You're out. In the words of Heidi Fleiss, you're out. 
There are going to be consequences and repercussions. Absolutely. Did we just get a Heidi Flights reference? Yeah, from, from Crystal. Yeah. What? Is, from, is, have you guys not seen the fashion designer show where you're either you're in or you're out? No. Okay. Oh yeah, that was just that me. Was, I mean, but was, which part which, is show. that? Music love or is that life? Which one is that? Because I didn't. No, I, I, I don't have life. any. I don't have any Heidi Flights references. I think it's life. Yeah. I'm a Heidi Flights fan. You know. A who? Heidi Flights. Not Heidi, a fan. You're a fan. Oh. Is it flies? I think it's the wrong closer, Heidi. closer to this body cap. We keep tiptoeing around. Know, okay, it. you know what? That I'm sorry. It's not Heidi Flies. I, I made say. a huge mistake. <laughs> the <laughs> model, I, I, the supermodel. Can't take that back now. I, I ain't did. no supermodel. No. It is a supermodel it, named it, Heidi. I, I, oh my gosh, mm, I got the wrong. I no, you, up. that's a Freudian mm. slip. You know how he flies, no, it right? Wasn't. That's the madam. That's the madam. Right. You're right. That's, uh-huh. a, that's one of them Freudian slips. I did. I messed up. I it messed wasn't up. until I said body count this year. Oh, wait a second. I was like, what are you talking she says, about? I made Heidi a mistake. Klum. It's a Heidi Klum uh, reference. Too Heidi late. Klum. You can't no. put that back in the box. Guys, can we re- mm-hmm. can you edit that out? Your it's grandpa Heidi was Klum. a pimp. It's a Heidi Klum it reference. Are you in or are you out? So Heidi Heidi Kleiss. Heidi Heidi Klum. Heidi Fleiss. Heidi Klum that was married to Seal. That has all the beautiful mixed babies. Right, but what about the Fleiss one? Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. You know what? What did you guys think of the Emmys? Did you, did you see the Emmys? No, I don't talk about no Emmys. I didn't watch really? that shit. No. So, so ironically, no, Cat Williams won an Emmy. Oh, for Atlanta. For his portrayal of the alligator man in Atlanta. I did thought you, they said you, Atlanta won no Emmys. Cat won for a guest appearance <laughs> role. Wow. Yeah. But I mean, last year they won. They won. So maybe they were like, let him cool off. Yeah. <laughs> but... I guess. Uh, you know what? I give you Tiffany one. Tiffany Haddish won. So okay. So yeah. So Cat Williams, uh, he said he made a few comments about Tiffany Haddish, mm-hmm. right? Um, one of them was about Tiffany dating outside of her race, right? And that being promoted. Do you? Do, do I want to go there? I mean, go there. come on with it. Come on with it, Cletus. I mean, come on with it. Okay, so I mean, I we think ready. because in one we ready. down one <laughs> show, so one path says go after dating interracially. Okay. The other path says talk about dating interracially on the big screen. Okay. About the agenda and that message. And uh, hey, whatever path which, you want to take. Which one you want to take? Fine, f- take the path that lights your feet, Kevin. <laughs> Whichever path you want to uh, go. Because, I mean, to be honest, I hadn't thought about Tiffany Haddish. I mm-hmm. told you, I didn't necessarily care about... I know, didn't know that her ex-husband was white. I didn't even that. know that. I didn't know that either. Because they were... when Hell, when I heard about it, it was on Atlanta radio. As a matter of fact, I think yeah. it might have been Frank and Wanda's show. Probably so. That's probably but, why I didn't hear. <laughs> right. Um, but... I don't know. Do you think Tiffany Haddish is the uh, is the the spokesperson for not at all to to send black women to the other side? Not at all. It could be my client Chili. That could be the person that is the spokesperson, or it could be Serena Williams, who is enjoying a wonderful marriage with a wonderful man and is very happy. You don't know that. You don't know about I, their marriage. She looks very happy. Looks, she looks very happy. Everybody on Instagram but I, but, looks happy. But my thing is this though. With with Serena, this conversation happened. I remember when she got married, there was such hate from black men on social media about her marrying a white man. But those same black men, I'm sure neither one of you were involved, had consistently called her unattractive, consistently said Serena she, Williams? she got a fat ass, but I would but she kind of looked like a man. She's too strong for me. Yes. Yes, very. She got a man face. Mm, I don't recall that. Well, there. You know what? I would have preferred. Like we wondered. Damn, what happened to Common? Common, what you do, man? Obviously, Common is That's- breaking. Common breaks up with everybody, or they break up with him. Who knows? From Erica Badu, he's had all the women y'all like, and they never work out. So, I mean. He may end up with a white woman before this is all over with. Damn, she. Man, I'm just saying, man. Like, I mean, he gets them. If anything, that's if if there he was, was with any Angela disgust, Rye. <laughs> he was with Angela Rye. Mm-hmm. What better couple could that Wait, possibly? They, they're not together no, no more. Why would no. that be a good couple? Because they're both like you know in the activist struggle. She is, yeah. No, she is okay. Never mind. I'll leave it alone. What? Nothing. I just no. I'm, go ahead. Come on with no, it. No, it's just it's just uh, there's so little substance there. But everybody's for her. Ma- yeah, really? everybody's making it seem like it's just, she's this big deal. I mean, she's not. She's not. She's she sassy on the news for black folks. She's not unintelligent. There's nobody. Just, there's nobody on I, the news okay. is like her. I agree. But, yes. <clears throat> I don't think that we That's have shame. to be. Does sassy have to always be? That's what bothers me is that it's so yeah. confrontational and like. Yeah. It, I'm just. Uh-huh. I'm like. Uh, 
that yeah, that's how I feel. Yeah. She's not unintelligent. She's very intelligent. Yeah, I, I like think her, she has good points. It's just uh, I don't like the fact that in order to make a point as a black woman, you don't have to. Now maybe that's just who she is, but I I don't know. But in any case, I did think I thought she made a great. Her and Common look like a great couple, but what looks great doesn't always work out. This is true. anyway. Back to Serena and the interracial dating. I don't know if she's happy or not. What I do know is that she's married and she seems happy, and that's all we can go on. I don't, I don't think that there is an agenda to put African-American women with other men, but I do think that there's a very obvious disconnect in the numbers of available African-American men and African-American women, and I think that everyone should be open to finding love wherever they find it. I mean, that might be true, but when it comes to the TV, and this is going to sound very hotep of me, it will. but it's, you're <laughs> hard-pressed to find a one photo of a black family in an advertisement. Oh. Most times you'll see most times you'll see a black woman and white man mixed kids. Let me tell you that Walmart is doing a great job. Uh, Walmart is used Neo's good man okay. single. And they're Walmart, you know, it's a black family. I'm just saying right. I, McDonald's commercial. Okay. okay. McDonald's, Jeep Cherokee. Great job to the Chicago African American agencies that are pushing all those all those ads. I mean, you got to realize that ad agencies have a huge budget for you know mainstream or or, or or general pop ads, multicultural ads are much smaller budget. So we don't we're not going to see that as often. That's just how it is. There are very few you know gen op ads that are geared towards African Americans or Hispanic. We kind of have to share those. It's not fair, but I don't think people are. Well, no, no, stop. You know what, Chris? I need you. I don't think you disagree with this, but you know how much hell Nike got for the Kaepernick thing. Yeah. Why? Oh fuck the fuck black people. Not oh much. my god. Shit. Yes, Nike, they have. Nike didn't get much hell at all. Well, Did you see? Gives, they, like boycott and what? They was burning shit that they already bought. That's not. That you know, is true. It's funny, but did, there was a woman in in Walmart that had taped over the Nike sign because <laughs> she did not want. To support Nike I'm like But she you already Reebok paid the, the money tape? No she just put Masking tape Over the swoosh All of your fellow Hoteps Were saying That that's what, This is the company That does this And does that And we're, we're not That's not enough What yeah, the I fuck mean, what is enough What else do y'all want I, like, I'm over it right. What? Well, they they weren't they, they didn't feel like it was enough with Kaepernick the Nike. They're always ad, asking yeah. somebody To do something And yeah. Nike does something And that's the I what? think what they did Was huge and it still wasn't enough. I yeah. agree, but well, it was I'll, just I'll hilarious honest. to see the extent they said that white they were folks... taking advantage of black people now because they they yeah, wanted to buy their I shoes. Can't, so I can't. I mean, well, uh, <sighs> do I want to say okay? I do Nike, think that what white folks well, did to try to burn their shoes was well, hilarious. But, but you know what? Even Trevor Noah said mm, this. Like it's a nice gesture. Okay, thanks. Really? However, it's still a corporation making money. So oh what? my god! And but they didn't have to do that. It was a great campaign. It was a great campaign. See, it, and, and saying, a, so, so, so let's nice just not message. do anything. Let's it's just a, not do anything. Let's no, just because it's a like, nice message. You should stand up for black people more often. And then when you do it, you get it's that. It's not shit. enough. I think no. I think if they if they establish a history, a pattern of what? that, you can't do that with one thing. You know what LeBron think- James makes. <laughs> His campaign for everything mm-hmm. is big, is on billboards LeBron, everywhere. LeBron is part of it, and, and 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 matter of fact, let me be for real. Nike has consistently paid African high American. dollar sponsorships to all of our favorite athletes. Are we aware that Jordans are probably the most expensive and long running shoe and they celebrated? It, yeah, come on, like, mm-hmm. and it's an African American. I mean, everything with Nike. Nike has actual brand. I mean, brand Jordan, Jordan is, is the, the only p- brand that was built like seriously built off. Of, off and of he's Nike, a very off African, another mainstream. He's company. a very African American man. So I mean, what what are we saying? His Nike eyes hasn't are done. yellow. That's how <laughs> black he is. <laughs> you know what? You beige people sit on your light skin thrones. You're talking you about your dog right now too. Your <laughs> you dog judge. is beige. No, seriously. So I mean, my, Nike has been in the business of empowering black people. They're, and they're and Serena they're Serena Williams a company. is a Nike brand, right? They have great ads for female empowerment with her. I love those. And already having Serena, already having uh, yeah. LeBron, what else are we wanting? Kaepernick made sense. 
Um, Why are you pronouncing I, it that way? It didn't, it didn't even make sense. They went against the grain. Even though right. they stand to make money off of it, which is what a company does, Right. they also went against the grain. Heavy. It, I, Anybody I do that think does a, a smart great, business any, move. Any company that does a great PR campaign is going to make money off of it. A smart business move. I don't like the way that's framed. Well, see, here's the... Here's well, right. I don't think it's... I don't, th- I don't think it was a... I think they really were... When you go against the president... Yeah, saying Saying it's a smart business plan when you're going against the president... I, I get what you're saying because it seems convenient, but the thing is, is it's not convenient. It's not it's, convenient. It's, it's as equally inconvenient as when Kaepernick decided to do this right. whole thing, I agree. even though he was not the starter on the team. Everybody's like, well, it don't mean anything because he wasn't even the starter, so he's not risking anything. No, he's risking everything. He did risk and everything. And Nike risked everything too. Right. Yes, yes, oh. they are a, corp- a corporation that has all this money, but right. they didn't have to go that way, right. and it could have turned out really bad for them. And yeah, probably- yeah, 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 yeah. See, here's what I think. Well, <laughs> I, I feel like no, I'm gonna be for real because uh-huh. I wonder as as much as I, I support the campaign, I support Kaepernick, of course, obviously, all of that. You gonna just keep I saying wonder, his name wrong? Yeah, I'm just like, why is it happening? That Are way? you saying Cape like Captain Save a Whole Cape? No, it's Cap. I mean, it's his name. Okay, Cap. Kaepernick. Okay, say it. Kaepernick, not Kaepernick. Keep, keep say it correctly, Kevin please. Davis. Please. You got the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. <laughs> okay, Kevin. Okay, Kevin. So what? Um, what? God, what the hell? I was I trying to say. As I was trying to say. I I feel like Nike and the NFL because they had just signed a deal. Okay, they just renewed their deal, actually. which they would have done anyway. So I wonder. I wonder if they just kind of WWE the. Kneeling conspiracy. What? You see what I'm saying? Like, no. Like Nike said, hmm, I'm going to do this campaign in the face of the NFL. And the NFL will benefit from the tension there. Black people won't want to boycott as much. Right? Speaking of Ford, Ford to support came out. Kaepernick to watch all the ads. Hmm, this thing may work. Speaking of Ford, Ford came out in support of Kaepernick as well. Who That's correct. Who owns the Detroit Lions. And, right. And, and, that's why and I, Jim I Carrey, too. So all that, the, Jim Carrey's an asshole, too. Like, he's, he's trying to make... He's got a TV show coming out. He wants black people to support him. So he, he decided to, to celebrate Kaepernick and put his Nikes up on Bill Maher's table because he just wants people, black people to watch his show. Jim Carrey came up with black people. You remember uh, all the oh whinings? Oh, my God. Okay, so you remember okay. all them wines. Okay, Ke- okay. What what could they have done that would have satisfied your people? Nobody, nothing. So you just don't want to be satisfied. You all just want to be it, 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 irritated and agitated. What do you really think that that's going to make up for four hundred years of captivity? Oh is my that God. what you like? Oh is that what God. you asking me? Hey, you look, want forty like, acres and a mule. Like, oh, share and subscribe. It's, it's, it's hey, everything is a baby step. All the points count. But can you at Nike least acknowledge threw that, Nike threw a good sh- good point on the board? But there's we'll a take lot, it. But there's a, but you want your but 40 you don't acres. take it. You won't take it. You're you want your forty them. acres, right? No, we're taking it. The, the blacks have accepted these points. All right. I can't. Okay. All right. Well, uh, okay. Kaepernick, it wasn't enough. <laughs> no, either they'll take it. Okay, they'll take it. So, um, yeah. I, and see, here's matter of fact, because I feel like the NFL boycott, like people are confused about it and mm-hmm. all that. Mm-hmm. If you have something to do with the NFL mm-hmm. that involves bringing in money, right? Right. If you, I don't give a shit if you sell hot dogs or water bottles outside of the stadium on NFL Sunday. Okay. Right? Get your money. The boycott does not involve that. Mm-hmm. So go get your money. I, if you're a sportscaster or an athlete or whatever it is you do, go get your money. Right? But if you have something that you do that you're just a supporter, mm-hmm. you're paying money into the NFL every time. Hmm, you might want to restrict yourself. If you're losing money because you're supporting the NFL, that you got to cut off. So watching on TV is losing money? Those are the rules. Watching on TV is losing money? That gives the mad dollars. Yeah, but what if I just enjoy my Sunday afternoons? Because a lot of a lot of non-black owned companies mm-hmm. are making a lot of money every sports season. They're well, playing they're a lot of wing joints. <laughs> a lot of wing joints are making money. They're depending so, but how, on the, the but, uh, games to but draw that's what people I'm saying. to so their then restaurant. How do you not go to their restaurant to support them and happen to watch the game too? Maybe you stay why, at home. Why, but then those black wing owners. Maybe, maybe you maybe you grill. Start your own. But those know, black restaurants don't yeah. make money. I know the owner of the U Bar here in Atlanta if wants you to come again. Go to the black restaurant. That is and, a black that's what I just restaurant. said. All right, there. So your so so the money is staying here. Guys, that's different. Okay, I got you. so you want people to. 
when they makes watch sense, the NFL, it's, it's so only difficult. go to a Don't black. spend your money with them. But if you're making money a or movement, you're keeping it in-house, then but, cool. But you know what? Can I say something? As a business owner, I want non-black people to spend money with me. Do I want my core to be, you know, do I want my African Americans to support me? Yes. But do I also want non-black dollars? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that, I do think that we have to support each other and be mindful of that. But I'm I'm not going to not support a non-black business ever. Like, I may like the chicken salad lady, chicken salad chick. I want to support her. I think that's amazing that she is a single mom, was able to create this empire. Like, I support that. Like, I, I'm not, we can't, be on this it's too late for that like it's too late it's for too us late. to be for what? only supporting each other like that's not? just not it's not realistic and and do you only want blacks to support you are you going to turn down white dollars no 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 one in business so want, should turn down other other cultures don't turn down our money right they just don't like us but they don't turn down our money but you I don't know, know they don't like I us. Don't, so don't, why, if you're in business, why would you, should you turn down someone else's money? I don't think money? that's true. I don't think every per, every business owner does not not. I mean, that's, that's just, we can't be that extreme there, or we're not going to be taken seriously. There are people, and, and there are people who live in Atlanta who mm -hmm. only, who like their daily yeah. activities, right. they only spend money with black owned businesses. I know. And 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 I you know what? Kudos to them. But if I need to get some gas, I cannot drive until I find a black owned gas station. You're I'm gonna gas have getting to back. I'm gonna have to <laughs> You have to keep going back to get fill up, but I'm gonna have to fill up. I, now do I wanna support that black business? Absolutely. But I'm gonna have to I may need some milk, okay? I can't find a black grocery store. Every time, like, I mean, I'm not saying that we shouldn't. I think we should. But I think to say don't, when you say don't watch a football game unless you're at a black, that just doesn't make sense to me. What if you live in an area where there aren't any black-owned pubs that are showing the game? What do you do? You got to write to your local um, hotel and get a, a chit <laughs> allowing you to watch football. I just want us to do things that make sense. To me, that pass. doesn't make sense. Yeah. It doesn't it make doesn't sense. It doesn't make sense. But, it, but I... <laughs> I want us you to said, support. You said a lot. You said yeah. a lot. I'll, I'll just let you. I'll, I'll stand on what you said. We we. <laughs> I don't know what that means, though. I mean, I, I support. I I'm just off? saying it's not. No, can no, I jump off no, now with the, the fist? I'm not sure what that had to do with it. So no, I'm, I'm just jumping back. I I'm jumping back off what he's saying, but it's just not to the extreme that he said it. She, she said, I don't want you on my side anyway. You're let me read, let me read between your lines. You're always jumping off of something. No, I'm not. If I read between the lines, what you're telling me is that it's too much work. That's not what I to said. find oh black-owned businesses. I'll agree to that. I got to support. I got a long. I got a long fucking week. I'm not saying one. hey, if your if your gas tank is on e, what do what How you got to do? How many black-owned gas stations are there? Yeah. One. I'm making shit. The paper. I'm hit the shit home. I'm making shit hit home. Okay, come on with it, Kevin. We cannot expect people to come to our website to listen to our show. We have to make sure that we're available in the places where they already are. Right. True. And that's what black businesses need to start doing. They need to make themselves available in the places we already are. Mm -hmm. That would allow us to actually support. But if we have to go completely out of our way in a long work week, I just don't have the energy to break my back to get to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that that's the issue. We would not be heard by anyone. Well, only a few people. The, the, the real fans would come to our website. Most people want to get on YouTube. Most people right. want to get on the podcast app right. or whatever. That's just where they want to get it. Right. We have and to be can there. we also um, suggest that when we do make ourselves available that we have good customer service? I'm tired, of, I'm tired of hearing no, that too. Professionalism, I'm, professionalism has nothing to do with race. I mean, I hate to say that, I, but, but I don't think all black people like that. We I don't either, but I, I do think, think we that only sometimes hold black people responsible. That's for not that. true. I I don't like any bad service. But I what I, but what happens is when I see someone that's that looks like me, I want to support you. So the fact that you take me, look at me, and be like, oh, I don't have to go the extra mile because of her, it pisses me off. So we don't take each other. A lot of times, if a a, a black customer comes in, they don't get the same. They don't get the same, I guess, professionalism that a non-black customer. And that's not right. Like, we have to treat each other with respect. I shouldn't ask you. This This, this has happened to us a lot in the business. Don't ask me to do something for you for a discount when you know this is how I live. Right. You're not treating me with the same respect that you would. You would not go to a white PR you know, professional and ask them for a discount. Or can you just get some, lo get it, get some love? What does that even mean? 
You know what I mean? Like, I want to look out for you, but I can look out for you more if you pay me what I'm worth and I'm able to make a living for myself and I'm able to invest back in each other. We got to do that. I, I absolutely agree with you. I, I think that if if I'm going to pay someone else $100 to perform a service, then I'm going to pay that same $100 yeah. to a black person. Um, I want to, we yeah. we should want to to take care of each other. And like, my friends are the ones that are support because my friends are the ones that are going to support me. So absolutely, right. I'm going to They should. Start Sometimes that. it's not that way. I just went to a comedy show at Eddie's place up in Decula, which is very far from my home. Oh, that's your friend it, that has the It's restaurant. about 55 miles from here. Oh, that's an hour plus. I went there, and he tried to give me free food. I'm like, nah, man, the reason why I came yeah, is I to support, support you. you. He's like, but Dope. when I drive way down to your house, man, I'll be wanting you to give me something free. I was like, that's cool. That's my house. This right. is your business. Right. I want to support. Right, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? So I, mm-hmm. I forced him to charge me. Right, that's what's up. That's, what, that's, 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 that's an example of a friend supporting you, you know? As opposed to, I got so many friends that be like, oh, Chris, I need to get one of your books. <laughs> okay, it's on Amazon. It, it is. Right. Just, you can pay. But, they, but you know, and then, and then it makes me feel like I have to give it to them because I'm a friend. But really, that's not a friend putting money into another. I, I represent a, an author. She had a birthday party. I paid to get in so because it, it paid for a book. Like, that makes you, well, that's, that's the whole point of us getting to a place of financial freedom is when we're investing in each other and it turns, you know, it turns around, right. you know? And you know what's funny is because we always talk about other cultures supporting themselves. Like I, they say that even Uber with Uber and Lyft, because uh, Uber and Lyft is killing the yellow cab. But yeah. you know what? I see Hispanic taxi cabs all the time. They are picking up other Hispanic people. They are For driving past reason, everybody else. Right? Hispanic people are yeah. not going on the app despite the convenience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're calling one of their. That's own. true. They they do a good job of that. Right. And Asians are, are really or Asians or Indians, they're really good yeah. about it too. They, they support are. they even with their businesses, they right. get their supplies from I went to the Mexican grocery store. It was none of the Mexican folks in there. I didn't know what anything was. I just was trying to get some detergent to wash my horse. Before you abandoned him <laughs> and when he got another <laughs> puppy. Cut his ball. No, well anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed today's show. Please like, subscribe, and share. We're going to start a GoFundMe for Crystal's animals. Dolce is taking a nap, and he's just fine. Looks adorable. You guys... He's terrified. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) See you guys next week. Music.